Let's do another example of finding characteristic roots. So, my matrix this time again is a 3 by 3 matrix 2, 2, 0, 2, 1, 1, minus 7, 2, minus 3. So, in order to find out the characteristic roots, we will use the characteristic equation, which is a minus lambda i determinant equals to 0. So, what is a minus lambda i? This time I'm writing it directly. It will be on the diagonal, you will have a minus lambda with every element, okay? So, you get 2 minus lambda, 1 minus lambda, minus 3 minus lambda on your diagonals and other elements remain the same. Other values are unchanged to 1. So, this determinant has to be equal to 0. So, this will give me a, a, a cubic polynomial in lambda. So, let me just expand through row 1 and we will get 2 minus lambda multiplied by the determinant of the remaining elements after eliminating the column, first column and first row. So 1 minus lambda into minus 3 minus lambda minus 2. Minus 2 into the determinant 2 minus 3 minus lambda plus 7 plus 0. 0 because you have the third element in the first row is 0. So, 0 multiplied with the determinant will give you the value 0. And this should equal to 0. This complete determinant should equal to 0, right? So, this will give us 2 minus lambda getting multiplied with, you just open up the factors you have minus 3 minus lambda plus 3 lambda plus lambda squared minus 2 minus 2 of minus 6 minus 2 lambda plus 7. So what do we get? We get 2 minus lambda into lambda squared plus 2 lambda minus 5 out here minus 2 into 1 minus 2 lambda. And this implies that what we have is 2 lambda square plus 4 lambda minus 10 minus lambda cube minus 2 lambda square plus 5 lambda minus 2 minus 4 lambda. Okay. I've just opened it up. Just simplified it. Just opened it up. Okay. And here you see your 2 lambda square is getting cancelled out with minus 2 lambda square. So what remains is minus lambda cube plus 9 lambda minus 10 minus 2 minus this will become plus 4 lambda. This equals to 0 it implies that lambda cube plus 13 lambda minus 2 equals to 0. So that means that I have a cubic, I have a cubic polynomial to factor it out. What we can do is, first of all, let me see the first integer 1 and check whether it gives me a 0 or not. Yes, if you just put it, minus 1 plus 13 minus 12 will give me a 0. So, that means lambda equals to 1 solves this equation. So, which implies that? which implies lambda minus 1 is a factor, is a factor of this cubic, okay? To find out the second factor, we will do a polynomial division. And the polynomial division, let's see what it gives us. So, lambda minus 1 is what we will divide minus lambda cube plus 13 lambda minus 12 with. So, in order to get a minus lambda cube, I need to multiply lambda with minus lambda square. So, minus lambda cube minus minus plus. So, plus lambda square is what I get. And when I subtract, this gets cancelled out. Minus lambda square comes down here plus 13 lambda minus 12. 
okay in order to get a minus lambda square i need to multiply with a minus lambda minus lambda not plus so minus lambda square i get one that and plus what i get i get a plus lambda okay so when i subtract this lambda square lambda square gets cancelled out and 13 lambda minus lambda will give me a 12 lambda minus 12 comes down here in order to get 12 lambda i just need to multiply lambda with 12 so plus 12 goes there 12 lambda minus 12 is something that i get when i subtract this i get a zero remainder that means my next factor is minus lambda square minus lambda plus 12 so that means minus lambda q plus 13 lambda minus 12 can be written as lambda minus 1 into minus lambda square minus lambda plus 12 and this should equal to zero now if you notice that the second factor can again be factorized into let's see what now this is same as saying i can take a minus out common so this will become lambda square plus lambda minus 12 equals to zero so lambda minus 1 into let me just factorize it what do we get lambda square 3 and 4 the difference will be 1 and the product will be 12 so we can use that here so 4 lambda minus 3 lambda minus 12 equals to 0 so we get lambda lambda plus 4 minus 3 lambda plus 4 so that means the factors are lambda plus 4 and lambda minus 3 so these three factors need to be equal to zero and that is possible when lambda equals to one minus four and three so this means that my characteristic roots this time the three roots are one minus four and three and this is the method to find out your eigenvalues